sorry that I didn't uh, you, uh, uh, punch hit you me. across the face in a proper slap, but I was hitting you. It was not punching you. Babe, you're not punched. I was hitting you. It was not punching you. I was hitting you. It was not punching you. I was hitting you. Don't tell me what it feels like to be punched. You, you know, you, even a lot of fights been around a long time. I know. Yeah, no, I, when you fucking have a closed I fist. You get punched. You got hit. I'm sorry I hit you like this. But I did not punch you. I did not fucking deck you. I fucking was hitting you. you can't I don't know what me. the motion of my actual hand was. But you're fine. I did not hurt you. I did not punch you. I. Okay, thank you for liking and subscribing. Thank you for clicking the little bell. Welcome to another episode of the l -l 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 Lightning Round. <sighs> this is why I don't engage with Amber Heard supporters. You can see it right there. I can't even believe this is said. I can't believe somebody would say this. What happened to Rihanna was terrible and disgusting, but just because Amber's face wasn't as damaged doesn't mean her trauma wasn't was any lesser. I mean, look at me right now, the way that this gets me. And that's why I stopped doing it, because when these people comment this bullshit, that's all they want. That's all that they want. They want you to get angry. They want you to be like, oh, you stupid, you stupid idiot. Oh, you, you fucking moron. Da, 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 da. And you can't curse anymore on Twitter. You curse, curse. You know, it doesn't matter if you put the little stars in it or everything. Like if you say the F word and you put F and then three little stars, they still get you for that. You know, you can't use any curse words. You can't tell these people off. And... Uh, like, it's just so infuriating when they come up with this bullshit. Okay, from Vogue. Discover the new fall 2022 collection by Desigual, driven by dynamism, character, and positive attitude. She's wearing a quilt. Oh, oh, sorry. Whoops. Is that a she? I don't know. We're not allowed to say that anymore, but I'm going to say it. I don't care. She's wearing a quilt. Grandma. Hey, Grandma. Somebody got the quilt from your couch. Where's the quilt? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, grandson. Where's it at? Oh, she's wearing it. <laughs> she's wearing a fucking quilt. Who? Who? Somebody needs to be fired for that. Who would think that you're going to put a quilt on someone and they're going to wear it? And that's fashion? Like, I get it that these aren't even supposed to be worn in public, I think, right? You're not even supposed to dress like that. Like, it's just for a collection, right? Like, that's how fashion works. Whenever you see these kind of shows and they have these clothes in them that you look at them, you're like, what the fuck is that? And it's it's really something that's it's kind of supposed to be art or whatever. I mean, number one, it's a quilt. <laughs> I don't know who decided that that was a good idea or who decided that. And number two, we did it with the other one, that uh, Timothy Chalamet guy. This isn't a uh, new, man. Discover the new fall 2022 collection. What do you mean new? Uh, Marky Mark did that shit in 1996, bro. What are you talking about? And I, and then we can't see her shoes and everything, but I bet you anything she's wearing the same thing. Boots, like a man, because that's what they want to make her, that's a girl, that's what they want to make her look like. Some kind of in-between male and female, like a man. Uh, Marky Mark did that 25 years ago. Okay, from Entertainment Tonight, Kim Kardashian isn't looking for love after her split with Pete Davidson. I mean, she's not going to be looking for love because nobody's going to be able to satisfy her after that fucking baby's forearm. <laughs> Next one. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, so apparently this I am Amber Heard hashtag has been happening. <laughs> it's so obvious that this came from her. Okay, this came from Amber Heard. So in one of her, one of her, uh, burner accounts. So look at this right here. I am Amber Heard because I can read and make sense of evidence. Really? Hey ladies, men explain things to me and white fragility. 
These people have absolutely no self-awareness. None. Okay, from Hollywood Life, Leonardo DiCaprio and Gigi Hadid are both in Madrid amid hot romance rumors, so... Now, this is even more hilarious than anything. And when I say hilarious, I don't mean like, ha, 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 funny. No. Didn't all you fucking morons out there say, oh, well, Leonardo DiCaprio, he's a groomer. He doesn't talk to anybody that's over 25. She's 27 years old. What the fuck do you morons have to say now? Oh, that's right. Oh, nothing. Because your jokes aren't happening anymore. I mean, yeah, it was just a little blip on the on the news cycle. But what do you have to say now? She's 27. And, and I bet you anything, Leo, I bet you Leo did this on purpose. Leo, bro, good job. You fucking own these pieces of shit. From page six, Amy Schumer. Jokes about kicking it with Adam Levine amid cheating scandal. Now, so this is one of the things I want to talk about. This pisses me off so bad. Because this person right here, <laughs> I was going to call her the Muppet's name for the for Kermit's wife, but I'm not going to do that because it'll probably be abusive. Um, Kermit's wife right here, she's basically making light of the cheating scandal. Now, uh, we all know that she's one of the biggest feminists in that fucking city. The way she always talks about her vagina in every single comedy act that she has. Dude, this woman has her vagina in every single show. Every, one, every single one. And her vagina. Oh, my vagina's open. Oh, pe a lot of people fuck my vagina. Oh, my vagina this. Oh, my vagina that. Dude, so you're, you're the one that's always talking about women and always talking about feminism and all that kind of bullshit. And then you're making jokes about a cheating scandal, dude. These people have zero self-awareness. Zero. None, dude. And I could guarantee you, if it was any kind of loser douchebag, right, that had cheated on some woman actress in Hollywood, Amy Schumer would be the biggest asshole talking about it. There's no doubt about that. So Ned from the Try Guys built his personality around loving his wife, but when he was seen making out with his employee Alex in New York and Alex's fiance has unfollowed her, plus some of her co-workers have unfollowed both of them and Ned's missing from vids and promos. Well, I've talked about that Ned thing before. I think this one, it's just the judgment of people on Twitter. They're idiots. They have no idea how to judge people. All they ever think about is either that virtue signaling bullshit or they just want to look good to everybody else. They don't actually know anything about anything. They'll, they will all, all those fucking people on Twitter, all of them, they will literally just say what is the most popular thing in order to be a part of the group because they're all fucking brain dead and you call them NPCs. That's the word for it, NPCs. But the fact that this happened and everybody on Twitter is like, oh, my God, that's horrible. What do you mean that's horrible? You people cared. Like, you loved him. Oh, the Try Guys are so amazing. They're the best uh, husbands. And stuff. Obviously not, right? Obviously, the people that you women on, not, no, not my subscribers, you women on Twitter, you thought they were amazing. So let me tell you one thing. I'm never going to take the judgment of people on Twitter seriously ever again. Those people are fucking morons. And then this one. Ned Fulmer from the Try Guys cheating on his wife after his entire personality for years was loving his wife is the exact reason I do not trust men. So, so in other words, you believe the guy. I've said it so many times. Same thing with Adam Levine and the whole feminist thing. Anytime a man is a male feminist... And they put themselves out there like that. It's because they're hiding something. Same thing. This dude made his entire personality on social media and on these videos of him being such a loving husband. And that's because, dude, they were cheating for a year. A whole year, those two people were cheating. And they both work in the same place. So if you expect me to believe, I don't have the photo here, but I'm going to put them up with those four douchebags. If you expect me to believe those other three douchebags didn't know this guy was cheating for that whole year, you got another thing coming, bro. They knew. How are you going to hide that shit for a whole year? Come on. 
Sarah Jessica Parker from Daily, uh, Daily Mail Celebrity. Sarah Jessica Parker finally confirms John Corbett will reprise his role as Aiden Shaw for season two of And Just Like That. So let me get this straight. You kill off the strong male character, Mr. Big, in some kind of bike bullshit that he has a heart attack. You kill off the strong male character and you bring back... <laughs> the piece of shit guy that got cheated on and she treated him like shit you bring that guy back really i wonder why and it's because he uh, she cheated on him she treated him like shit so they're fine with bringing back that weak ass man but no the strong character mr big no 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 we're gonna kill him off we can't have a strong male character Uh uh-uh uh-uh Katie Couric reveals she was diagnosed with breast cancer from Hollywood Life and says she found out on her wedding anniversary. Now, that's not something to joke about, but th- and I want to send a shout out to her. That's the only reason I talked about this. That's horrible. She's she's a horrible um, horrible. She's a horrible. She's a great person. She's been in the business for a very long time, very talented. But the thing is, man, are you trying to tell me the doctor couldn't wait? <laughs> The doctor couldn't like couldn't wait one day or the doctor it had to be the doctor didn't know. Okay, that would be fine. That would be defensible. That you could defend that. Okay, the doctor didn't know. Like, hello, uh yes, um ma'am, we found out you have breast cancer. Well I am I'm, I'm on my anniversary. Oh. Okay. Well we'll call you tomorrow then. What you already told me. <laughs> You already fucking told me. Thank you for ruining my life and my anniversary, you asshole. <laughs> but again, I know it's not something to joke about, but she's a great person. She really is. I've known I've known of that woman for a very long time. She's insanely talented. She's so, so good at her job. So it was just sad that that happened. But at the same time, like what the fucking doctor couldn't wait one day. Ugh. From Daily Mail Celebrity again, Bette Midler and Sarah Jessica Parker lead stars at the Hocus Pocus 2 premiere in New York City. Now, why am I talking about this? Because I'm really looking forward to this movie. That movie made my childhood. I loved it. Every Halloween, we would watch that movie. Halloween's coming up. October's coming up. You know, it's it's Halloween time. You want to be watching these kind of movies. I know... I don't want to say it. I don't want to say it. I know they woked this movie. I know they're gonna. There's gonna be something in this movie that it's gonna be about female empowerment or white men or men are bad or some kind of bullshit that these woke people that make these fucking movies they're going to ruin this movie. And the only re- like I said, the only reason I wanted to talk about this is because this movie is such a big part of my childhood. And I'm going to watch it, and I'm going to let you know. <laughs> I'm just really hoping I'm wrong. I'm really hoping I'm wrong. I'm really hoping that they didn't ruin this fucking movie. And, and that's all I have to say. Please don't. Please, please, please. Oh. Daily Mail Celebrity again, Saturday Night Live cast member Chris Redd dating ex-wife of co-star Kenan Thompson. So that's going to be the last one. So that means, that means when the guy, Kenan, when he brought his wife to his job, Saturday Night Live, that means that him, um, the other guy, what's his name, Uh, Chris Redd, and Keenan's wife, they were probably flirting right there when Keenan Thompson was at work. Man, it's kind of like when your friend dates your ex girlfriend, but it's like a kind of a ways down the road. You're like, what the fuck, bro? Like, you're dating my ex. Like, so what? You probably wanted her when she was with me, didn't you? You fucking piece of shit. Like, dude, ex-girlfriends, to me, as a man, ex-girlfriends are, are off, out of, out of bounds. They're off. If, you're, if your best friend 
has a girlfriend. Okay, number one, that's not even, uh, you're not even supposed to look at that woman. You don't even look, she's, she's supposed to be like a sister. Like, that's gross, bro. These people, these guys that they bang their best friends, girlfriends or ex-girlfriends and stuff like that. You realize if that friend of yours finished on her face and in her mouth, that means that you're doing that with her. You realize that, right? Or you people don't, men don't realize that. That's disgusting, bro. That's disisgusting. Oh, what's up, dog? What's happening, bro? I'm like, oh, yeah, pound it, everything. Oh, yeah, no, I'm dating your ex. Hey, bro, I finished on her face. Well, she doesn't want to let me do that. <laughs> okay, well, that's going to be about it for today. Thank you for liking and subscribing. Thank you for staying with me this long. We will catch you next time.